Hey guys, it's Nathan Brown from Trailhead Design Co. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Ultimate Canvas Creator. I made this product in partnership with Design Cuts. I'm gonna include a link on where you can purchase it in the description below. Uh, it's a comprehensive set of surface textures that includes everything from uh, watercolor paper to uh, canvases to pastel papers and charcoal papers. Um, it's an extensive uh, set of, of 40 surfaces. Um, so first of all, I am in Procreate on the iPad, um, but these settings and these things that we'll be doing um, will also apply to Photoshop or Affinity. It all works pretty much the same no matter which app you're using. So we'll take a quick look at my setup. Uh, I have the each of the the three types split out into groups. I've got the paint media, the uh, the wet media, and the dry media. Now, the paint media is intended to mimic like oil paint or acrylic on canvas, um, a thicker media. Whereas wet media is more like watercolor or gouache, where there's lots of uh, water being mixed with the paint. And then of course dry media is like charcoal. Um, uh, pastel or uh, pencil. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways to use the canvases themselves. You can paint directly onto them or you can add existing artwork. So let's, let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to open up the wet media set and this set includes 14 different watercolor type papers. Um, and let's take a look at just painting directly like we would start a new painting um, on a canvas. So you'll see in the layers there's uh, paper textures um, or a paper folder full of textures. There's uh, sometimes a layer mask on some canvases, sometimes there's not. But what you want to look for is the paint here layer. And if you paint directly onto that layer, you'll see that the textures, they're, they're already applied. And so what that looks like, if you turn them off, we'll turn off the layer mask in this instance, and you can see this is just painting directly um, with no textures applied. But once we turn them back on, you can see what a difference it makes to just paint with the textures already applied. Another method is to copy and paste an existing painting onto the canvas file. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the paint here layer Swipe down with three fingers and select paste. Okay, so there's my painting with the textures applied. And something that we can do here too is um, make some fine tuning adjustments. And to do that, um, we're gonna look at the, the paper textures and they're, they're split into actually two sections. There's, there's, there's a paper textures folder and there's uh, a paint effects folder. In this case, this is a salt paper, so the, that uh, group is labeled salt effects. So if you swipe left, um, you can unlock each of these. And then you can select um, the, the blending mode and touch that and, and it'll it'll open a drop down and you can adjust the opacity and in this case you can turn it on and off and you can kind of see this the subtle effect that it makes and just adjust the opacity like higher or lower um, depending on how your painting looks in this case I'm going to bump the salt texture up a little bit and it ends up looking a little bit sharper and I think I like that Okay, now let's take a quick look at edge masks. Each um, of the three sections uh, has their own set of edge masks. And for this example, we're in the paint media canvases and I've already got some artwork pasted into uh, this particular brush stroke canvas. And uh, this one has no edge mask applied, so we're gonna apply one. So I'm gonna step back out and I have imported a sponge color mask and it's just a flat uh, black and white file and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back out to my uh, brush stroke canvas and I'm going to uh, touch the uh, layers thumbnail and select mask and then from there I'm going to swipe down with three fingers and click paste okay so that applies the edge mask 
and we can adjust the background color. Uh, I'm going to choose a blue because my background paint is blue and I don't want it to be in as intense as full white. So I'm going to choose kind of a dull grayish blue. Okay, so no layer mask, no edge mask, or with edge mask. So you can see the difference. And while we're in the paint media set, we'll go ahead and look at how to apply the gold leaf effects. So I'm going to jump into the classic canvas and I want to create a new layer above the canvas textures. And I'm going to import the gold leaf texture. And I want to turn that into a mask and drag solid black into the mask to hide the gold leaf. So now while I'm on the mask, I can choose a brush and anywhere I paint, oh, with white selected, anywhere I paint uh, will apply the gold leaf. Okay, now let's talk about the finishing brushes. So each of the sets comes with a collection of finishing brushes, brushes that, that match the, uh, the media. So like the, the paint set will have a set of, of thicker paint strokes and textures. The wet media set will have like watered down washes. And then the dry media set has a lot of like uh, charcoal strokes and pastel dust and smudges and things like that. So let's, let's take a look at those real quick. I've already pasted um, some artwork into uh, this pastel paper. I'm gonna turn that on. And I'm going to adjust this paper background just a little bit to make it maybe a touch darker. And I'm gonna create a new layer. And on that layer, I'm going to use, I'm using the uh, brushes in the dry media set and I'm going to choose a similar pink color and let's see I'm going to use maybe a couple of these smudges and larger a bit larger there we go and, and these these brushes will rotate with every click so you can use the same brush and it changes a little bit with each click I'm going to choose a white as well and maybe go with one of these chalky textures and just randomly click around just to add some, some finishing touches. The intent of these brushes is just to add uh, more texture and more randomness and just more realism um, to a piece of art. And I think I'm going to do black and oh, well, I'll add some dust. Just a little bit of dust on the outside and maybe do that in white as well. Yeah, add a few strokes. Let me try some black strokes down here. Yeah, maybe one more. That's too much. Yeah, that's cool. So we go from that to that to finish out the painting. Okay, I also want to talk about resizing these canvases. They're, they're high resolution, they're 4,000 by 5,000 pixels, but your, your artwork may not have been uh, that large. So for this one, I've got a sketch that's a bit of, of a smaller size. So let's see how we might fit it into uh, one of the canvas files. So I'm going to copy it. And since it's a sketch, I'm gonna use the sketch paper Actually, I'm going to duplicate it so I can have a clean copy. I'm going to paste it in. Okay, and I'm going to resize because I want to resize it because the textures and the paper grain and things like that are, are large and my, my illustration is small, so they're, they're not to scale with each other. So if you go in and you open all of these groups and you unlock them all now you can close it up and you can resize Let's see if I can get you can resize 
all of them at once. So I'm going to do that to fit my fit my illustration a little bit better. And then from there, I'm going to go to uh, Canvas and Crop and Resize. And I'm going to drag that in the corners. and crop it. Now my paper grain on the, the smudges on the paper are more to scale with my illustration. Guys, I hope this helps you to understand how to use the Ultimate Canvas Creator and all the options that are available for customization and, and, and tweaking the canvases to, to better suit your art. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me here or through email or on Instagram. I'm always around and I'm always happy to help. Mm -hmm.